How's it going, Jack Tackers, and welcome back to another video for you guys. Today, I'm going to be doing my review for The Flash Season 5's premiere, entitled Nora. But first, remember, if you guys are new, make sure to check out my social media and vlogging channel down in the description below. And without further ado, let's get into this. So overall, I really enjoyed the episode. Uh, at first, I was kind of like, yeah, I don't know how I feel about this. But by the end of the episode, I was like, you know what? That was a pretty damn strong premiere, and I enjoyed it thoroughly. Really loved all the references um, to previous seasons and previous episodes. That's one thing I noticed a lot about in this episode, and it did make me nostalgic, which I think is a big reason I like this episode. They referenced the first time Flash meets Supergirl. They talk about Zoom. And for one, the Flash wears a lot of his old suits. He wears the season one suit with the red emblem, and he also wears the season two suit with the white emblem. Um, season two and three suit, I guess. Um, so there's a lot of nostalgia, and I think the best example of that is when they're on the airplane and Nora's worried she can't uh, phase um, the airplane, and Barry tells her exactly what uh, Wells told him when he was phasing for the first time, and I just, man, I love that. Um, the nostalgia just really hit me this episode, and I really enjoyed it. Um, other than that, it was cool to see the new suit, the actual animation for the flash ring looked really nice. Um... And I liked I, I liked how that how what that went down, but honestly the suit it looks like shit. I don't fucking know why they went with it. Um, I don't like the suit. I don't know. I just whatever. Um, Nora didn't bother me that much. I, I thought she would. Yes, I know. Um, some people are like, what are you talking about? I don't know. I thought she would just be a bothersome character. Uh, the villain Gridlock was also really good. Um, I thought. You know, he's just be another villain of the week. But you know what? He kind of actually played a part, which I'll get to in a minute, into the tease for the end for the main villain of this uh, season. So that's kind of cool. Um, overall, I thought everything was pretty good. A decent amount of action balancing that and um, balancing action with, you know, everything else that's going on. More uh, interests in going into Caitlyn's father, um, especially towards the end when Ralph tells... Caitlin that it's a it's a fake death certificate so that's pretty interesting but yeah overall I enjoyed it the tease at the end with Sakata um was pretty cool uh, I'm really not sure how I feel about this villain but whatever who knows um but yeah it was a really good episode Anyway, guys, let me hear your thoughts on this episode down in the comments below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you in the next one. Peace. Boop.